Why are you talking about such YouTubers? You shouldn't be encouraging such things. Shame on you. You're not on the correct man, Hajj, mate. You probably do cocaine and heroin as well. I haven't even started the video yet. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah Alright guys if you've never heard of these two YouTubers No worries mate I'll fill you in and you'll still be able to benefit KSI and Deji These two are brothers And they also happen to be very famous YouTubers yeah They got their popularity from being very crude Loud And purposely stereotypical you know, all the qualities the youth aspire to, yeah? Back in the days, even I used to watch them. I guess it was because of the stupid comedy, the confidence that they used to exude, and I guess their kind of family unit. But then as time progressed, they started compromising on their dignity and on the quality of their videos. So I decided to call it a day. Now, before I continue, yeah, KSI is the bigger one and Deji is a smaller one. I just recently in my feed I came across a video. I thought it was clickbait yeah but it turns out it wasn't. I saw Deji upload this long video where he's literally exposing his brother. He's done this to me, he's done that to me, he's just making a long list of things and then I saw his brother make a one and a half hour response to Deji's claims. Bear in mind these are family problems, these are personal issues and they're discussing it out in the open. Now this came as a shock to a lot of people that used to watch them thinking they were two happy brothers who had a very good relationship but we wrongfully assumed that because we saw something on social media that it was true. And you know what, after I heard that I thought you know what, there are some very important lessons that people that watch these guys and that don't watch these guys could possibly learn from this yeah. Alright number one guys is communication. Now as Deji was enumerating all these problems, KSI was like I had no idea. I wish you'd communicated them to me so we could have done something about it. Now this is a common mistake in a lot of relationships. No matter what your relationship is, communication will be the bud of the problems. Now there's a few reasons we choose not to express ourselves. yeah? It might be because I choose to forgive him. I just ignored it mate, I was like forget it. I just couldn't be bothered mate. Well, as valid as these points are in different situations, you can still express your discomfort politely and then follow up with these things of forgiving and ignoring or not being bothered. Remember guys, if you start letting things slide, people are gonna think that they can ice skate mate. You know what I mean? People take advantage. Wait, I got another one. It's easier to remove a plant than it is to remove a tree. In other words mate, don't let your problems grow because in the future they're gonna be difficult to remove. For God's sake guys do not communicate via text, whatsapp because over 60% of our communication is non-verbal mate. In other words it's body language and tone. Number two, eggs. <laughs> don't put all of life's eggs in one basket. Oh I love him so much, he's my everything. Hang on a minute, so what happens tomorrow if he leaves you or if he dies? He's gonna take your heart with him then isn't he? <gasps> my kids- whoa! Got too excited there. My kids mean everything to me. Yeah so when they grow up and they leave, they're gonna take your sanity with them then. My bros mean everything to me isn't it? Gang 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 gang. What if tomorrow they let you down? What happens to gang 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 gang? Guys remember all of these things are temporary. The only thing that you should put and give your heart to is Allah. Because Allah is eternal and he's not gonna let you down. Otherwise guys if you rely on these things it's a ticking time bomb. It's only a matter of time till it breaks you. Now of course there's gonna be some sort of link here but at least if worse comes to worse you're gonna be able to get over it. But if you've given everything you know people go nuts. Number three the older brother. Now as we know guys from the hadith the older brother is like the father. Now you need to establish this relationship within your families. The older brother 
yeah? You need to be there for your siblings not only physically but emotionally as well. And the siblings, you need to respect your older sibling like a father. Establish boundaries yeah? in your jokes and your demeanour. Alright guys number 4, the facade. Social media is the place where people show the best versions of themselves. Don't get it twisted that these people are happy and joyous, yeah they're happy and joyous on camera, but every single one of these people is going through something behind the scenes. And the only difference between a non-practicing person going through something and a practicing person going through something is that a practicing person is more likely to come out of the problem in one piece. Number 5 guys, dirty laundry. Don't publicize your family problems, you'll eventually patch things up, forgive, forget and move on. But you have to understand that the people that know about your family problems, they don't forget. And way into the future there's a possibility that they're even going to bring it up and use it against you. Alright guys so these were a few things that I wanted to mention. Understand the importance of family life, even if you're with parents and family that don't get you. Still guys make the effort, learn who they are, bond guys because if tomorrow something happens to you the first people that are gonna be by your bedside in the hospital aren't gonna be your Facebook friends, they're just gonna be liking your post yeah with you and your broken leg or whatever. It's gonna be your family that's gonna be there guys. May Allah grant us the tawfiq to stay together as a family unit because families are becoming dispersed, marriages are breaking up yeah. Commitment is something that's very lacking in our day and age, whether it's to family, whether it's to marriage, you know, whether it's to, to, to even our siblings and friends. Loyalty and commitment guys, if you have that, you're a very lucky person. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum.